Have you ever noticed how intelligence is often dressed in a tie and a suit? We've all been told at some point or the other, subtly, casually, or sometimes even as a joke, that men are better at math, that logic is masculine, that reason belongs to men and emotion to women. But what if I told you that science disagrees? Today we are not just challenging a myth, today we are unpacking a truth many still resist. There is no correlation between intellect and gender. Let's start at the root. What even is intellect? It's not just your IQ. It's your ability to learn, reason, adapt, create and connect. Psychologists talk about multiple intelligences. linguistic logical emotional musical spatial and interpersonal and guess what none of these intelligences have ever been scientifically proven to belong more to one gender than another still you might have heard people say don't men score higher in iq tests well that's a misunderstanding of what the data actually shows here's the truth across large populations The average intelligence of men and women is almost identical but there tends to be more spread in male scores. What does that mean? It means that there are more men at both ends of the bell curve. More men in higher scores, more men in lower scores. But the vast majority of people, regardless of their gender, cluster near the center. So there may be more extremes among men. That doesn't mean that one gender is more intelligent. it only reflects variations within a group not across genders a comprehensive meta analysis by janet hyde a psychologist from the university of wisconsin reviewed decades of data and this is what she concluded gender similarities in intelligence are far more significant than the differences another study published in nature neuroscience analyzed 500,000 IQ tests the result no consistent cognitive advantage for either of the genders so basically next time somebody tells you that one gender is naturally smarter ask for the peer reviewed evidence they won't find it the answer lies not in biology but in society for centuries women were denied education when they entered the classroom they were not always welcomed at the table not because they lacked intellect but because the system feared their brilliance stereotype threat also plays a role in experiments when women were told that men usually perform better on math tests their scores dropped but when the stereotype was removed the gap disappeared we internalize the narratives we are told but that doesn't mean that our internal belief makes a myth true This myth doesn't just hurt women it cages men too boys taught not to cry are denied emotional intelligence men discouraged from asking certain questions miss out on the collaborative wisdom when we attach intellect to a certain gender we shrink the full spectrum of human potential we raise girls to second guess themselves and we teach boys that sensitivity is a weakness and in doing so we rob the world of a genius that doesn't fit a stereotype History has already proven the truth from Ada Lovelace the first computer programmer to Rosalind Franklin who helped uncover the DNA double helix to Maria Mirza Khani the first woman to win the Fields medal in math genius doesn't wear a specific body it wears curiosity it wears courage and it wears silence that thinks before it speaks so let's stop asking who's smarter and let's start asking how can we build a world where every kind of mind is allowed to bloom because intelligence is not inherited by a gender it's ignited by opportunity and nurtured by belief let's rewrite this old narrative let's let intellect be what it truly is a celebration of the human mind in all its beautiful forms 
I hope you liked this video and if you did please like share and subscribe thank you for watching and until next time keep building a better you